Buses are not using the bus lanes. Well, they won't use the bus lanes um, if they want to go into a different lane. But why these guys are not using it, I have no idea. Even the garbage truck is using the bus lane. <laughs> yeah, well, well, we almost had a population rise. I need to build more houses, I think. I might just try and see how we get on. Oops. In the options menu, you can tell the buses to ignore turn signs. That sounds crazy. I know the bus line's going right. I don't want any traffic coming this way. And when I look at the bus routes, I don't have a bus route coming down this road. Hence why I want to stop traffic turning left. Because that way, this traffic can flow through here better. If they're in here and they want to come back on this road to go out, they'll have to go that way. It only allows buses to ignore the traffic president stuff. When you say it saves your bus lanes, I don't know what you mean. Happy anniversary. <coughs> See if we can get some more bums in seats. Uh, you said that the buses are not using the bus lane to go straight on in the main road, and that's because the bus lane is right only. No, 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 that's not what I said. People were saying the buses are not using the bus lane. Not at that junction, they're just not using the bus lane. Now we've gotten positive. Hopefully the death wave is at an end. They will use it if you allow them to ignore it. That's just... I don't get that. So what are you saying? Gameplay... Buses may ignore lane arrows. That sounds like chaos. Like if I specify a junction, if I, if I specify a layout of a junction and the buses just completely ignore that, aren't they just going to turn when I don't want them to turn? So if I build like a one-way system, the buses will be like, meh. No, what I mean is, if I build, um, let me show you what I mean, like this. Take take this here. So this this is not a standard junction, right? This this is what similar to what you just saw. So if they come down the down the screen, they can only turn right, which means I'm forcing traffic to turn right. So it can't turn an oncoming traffic here. It can't get in the way. 
there's no way there's no possible way any vehicle here at this junction can get in front of another vehicle it just doesn't happen right and instead they go like around these bridge and tunnel but if i turn your option on a bus would just come down here ignore the lane arrow and turn left wouldn't it so basically follow the route you set them Basically because because buses go out of the lane when turning, even if there's a bus lane. Or we can try it. Traffic's on the wrong side of the road, that's a problem. Lol. Okay, they can't get enough workers. Um, hmm. Let me see. So we've got Strawberry Hill, which is schools out free public transport. So there are industrials. Then we've got Merkel Square, Fleet Book, Transport Spools. All right, so they're the same as well. Briar Rose. So this is our industrial worker force right here. It's not got the best metro links, but it has got bus links to the metro. The only metro link is that yellow one. Please don't tell me it goes all the way down there. The phone has not been backed up in three years, NPR. That's a long time since the last backup. goes to there, that's fine. This is a busy station. Yeah, so they've got a metro that takes them to here, which is the central hub, and then this takes them further south. a bit big I think we'll not do that let's get rid of that that can go through there
think we'll just have a dedicated circuit here. That's probably going to work better. Yeah, I wish you could add more platforms to Metro. I know you can get mods that do these things, but... It should be in the base game, really. Like, they did it with train lines, but not really Metro lines. So let's get rid of that and that. Sort this one out. Let's put it. I think that's a better system. There's a few nice looking metro stations in the workshop that don't need that mod. Do they work though? Do they work properly? This is emotions you can add platforms at lower levels. Yeah, it's funny how some games have like features you think, oh we really wish that was in this one. And vice versa. Need a bit more commerce. I know where we can add commerce. We can put some more commerce down here. Transport links, that's fine. When did I change camera position? <laughs> Pretty much last week was the starting point for that. How does the public transport work with um, TMP activated when all when I got it activated, no one is using public transport? I've never had it break my public transport. Maybe you've got a version that isn't compatible. Um, I've got 1.10.12, if that helps. I think there might have been a rework done of it. Hey, Dead Mouse, how you doing? You're tired. All right, let's have a look at the big picture. Um. How long do we need to get 60? Need to get 75 to unlock all the tiles. 75k population. That needs to be a goal right now. Because I kind of restricted not being able to connect into places like this. I think industry, we've got some industry we can do there. Once this is built out, I'm going to struggle for more or residence. That doesn't matter too much. There's no point in locking that. That's... It's going to have a highway smashing through it anyway. I think the most valuable sector at the moment might be this one. Either this one or this one, but this one's got half mountain, so it's not a good buy. Uh, Sock Demon, I have got the mod that unlocks the whole map, but all of those mods only kick in once you've got nine tiles. That's the way they work. Like, as soon as I get these two tiles, as you can see here, look all, all the tiles are unlocked. Uh, 
<coughs> so I think I'm going to grab that one. I, I've never seen that one Sock Demon. Every one I've ever had has only unlocked after nine tiles. I'll be honest with you, I never really, un <clears throat> I never really understood the whole tile unlock thing anyway in this game. Because it more or less just makes things harder in a way that in a way that kind of like as your population builds up it unlocks different buildings and different transports and so it kind of flows you into the game that's great but the concept of locking tiles down just means you know oh i've got a train line here in my new city i've just unlocked trains but i can't connect to that until i get another tile unlock at which point i can get that train it's just like why or if I'm building, like, I've got to butt up against this invisible wall. It's just deeply annoying. Gotta love it when your bank thinks Twitch and Streamlabs is a fraud payment. <laughs> Genius. Oh, I've not seen that one sock. Hence why I don't use it. Uh, now this is interesting because you've got a highway link through here. So what I'd probably like to do when we get this unlocked is bring this road probably across and try and junction it in there. Or the layout of the land is difficult, but that way we've got a highway in and out point, which would be good for this when we build it. Your bank account locks for 20 minutes. Genius. We'll continue the tram over here. Confused and asked me what Twitch and Streamlabs was. How did you answer that question? Uh, Mikey Far, how you doing? Don't think we're going to build much down here. He also got his account locked and the police arrive and get another mate made a payment with for guns and drugs as the payment reference. <laughs> wow. Wow. Did he do that just to see what would happen? That's insane. So they're basically watching your account. Oh my god, that's actually quite scary. is like on the one hand you think to yourself well you kind of deserved it but on the other hand you think seriously what kind of a criminal would 
would buy like guns and drugs and then send a payment over in the message in the payment reference put for those guns and drugs <laughs> really what kind of like seriously the only person that's going to do that is somebody who's messing around or is a complete idiot <laughs> just like the fact the bank or the police think oh well we've got ourselves a criminal here you know here's, here's a lead yeah sure okay I'm sure that works out. I don't like that. You may as well stupid people are. Well, yes and no, you know. I'm never amazed how stupid people are because I watch enough programs where you can see it in action, but even so, I just can't see many criminals actually doing that even the stupid ones please can't ignore it they have to look at it I think that's the real reason like they have to look at it Even though I just can't... Im like, if they ever publish statistics, I can't imagine ever any or even many or even any of those ever turned out to be an actual crime. Like, they investigated... I mean, what is the investigation anyway? Like, they freeze your bank account, phone you up, and say, oh yeah, we've frozen your account because you've got this thing here that says for, for guns and drugs. Can you just confirm, please, that that wasn't for guns and drugs? And you go, no, it wasn't for guns and drugs. Okay, we've unlocked your account. What, I mean, what kind of investigation follows that? Do they come around your house and check for AKs? I mean, how does it work? What kind of investigation can they possibly do? Well, that's true, Captain Flint. He got his account locked even though he didn't do anything. Like his friend was being the numpty. Which definitely doesn't seem right, does it? Okay, we've got a population demand. Which is good. Let's take advantage. I'll put the high dents in here. Particularly near this uh, school. Actually, I need to look at the schooling situation. I don't know if we've got enough school coverage these days. Uh, but we're going to need some more. On high school for this entire population. Hmm. Can't really build too close to this hill. Donkey, how are you doing? You're stuck in traffic. Oh dear. It was an overseas payment. The guy who made the payment did it from UAE, so there was that. Wait, was this his friend sending him money? Like, that's just not even... Like, that was pretty obviously going to happen. Community school allows children to get education and grow into educated adults, an alternative to elementary school. Sounds fun.
We have some little roads. Some suburb roads going off here. She live on the hill. Good work. Apart from that one. Any sensible person buying guns puts the payment references Battlefield 5 microtransactions. <laughs> How much snow in the UK? I've not seen any where I am, but it really does depend on where you live. Because the weather's coming down from the north, if you're up in Scotland or even on the east coast to some extent, you're tending to get some snow. But down, by the time you get down towards London, it, it's not really happening. Stops it looking quite so bland. I think we need some trees back here. Corner shop. Population slowly coming back. He had a 10 minute blizzard this morning. Yeah, it needs more to settle, doesn't it? You live near Moscow, snow is 70 centimeters. Yikes. If, if we had snow like that where I was, I'd be outside making a snowman. <laughs> it's been that long since it snowed properly enough. In South Wales, you've had 0% so far, but March last year, it's not... Well, to be fair, last year, if I remember, like February, March time, was was some kind of massive beast from the east thing, wasn't it? So I think we all got wrecked by that. Not enough customers? Are you kidding me? Get some more industry over here. Although, hang on. Not enough workers. Well, these are the educated lots, so they're never going to work though. But this lot here. Maybe we're going to have to start building homes a bit nearer to this thing. Which I can't do yet. Unless I turn this posh district into a worker. Like a... How do you call it? Like a low... Low income type zone here. This bit. Even though they've got an education boost currently. Wait. Education boost and school's out? The heck? Boost education budget can make young adults automatically choose education over working. Okay, we'll, we'll turn that off. Recreational use. 
Moderately increased tourism. Slightly reduced crime rate. Prefer parks. Tourists in the area should choose parks more than unique buildings. Free Wi Fi. <laughs> Free public transport. Wi-Fi sold. Yeah, but it's like one megabit. <laughs> uh, hmm. I need a name for this place. This is going to be another low education zone. Uh, no, I'm not going to call it like Dumbville and that kind of thing. They're going to work in here. Winters haven't been great in the past years. It used to get heavy snow around October. Well, I remember when I was a kid, we used to get winters a lot colder with a lot more snow than we get these days. We just don't seem to get cold weather much that much anymore. Not compared to what it used to be. Essex, lol. Cheap seats. I don't know why you would call it cheap seats, but whatever. Cheap seats. There you go. Let's see. They've got buses and stuff, but there's not really a good train metro link between here and here. Not surprisingly. I can't really give them a... Wow. Baz's traffic for the win. Wait, is Baz still here? I'd like Baz to witness the mess. Look at they're just like literally queuing into one lane just so they can do this. What are they doing? That's because the AI idiots has three lanes. <laughs> oh, Baz. You're worse than me for being blameless, Baz. See, there's, there's buses going around here, but there's no metro stop. They don't like metros near housing. It's a bit noisy, but I kind of feel like they need it. The nearest metro they have, that one, which is a terminal line. So we could just join that to that. They can get the bus into. Hmm. So you know the bus. The bus only takes some shopping, really. They still have to walk from there to there. Trying to retrofit onto something which was penciled out for a nice area. We need proper UK junctions better than Baz's stuff. <laughs> Trigger 9912 with two year anniversary. Paul, I hope you're well. Uh, thanks for great work. Hope to support you for many more years. Thank you very much, Trigger. Thanks for two years. Enjoy that shiny golden badge. Elite Raw with 19 months. Ellis the Bellis. Two months, Squirrel was watching Skylines on Squirrel Plus. Uh, good surprise to see you playing it here too. Well, this hopefully is a continuation of that. That's the plan. Can we sneak a road from there to there? And then we could reroute the buses to take people in. That seems like the best plan. We could perhaps come in this way. 
can even bridge it, I guess. Still snapping. Oh, actually, it's not so bad. I could even make that traffic for buses only and stuff. Put some restrictions on it. Get rid of cars, buses, taxis, no trucks. Uh, should do it. And we'll put some bus stops up around here as well. Get people to work. I mean, at the end of the day, we'll need to get them to the metro. They can always get the metro to go around that bit. Sarak, I don't know about bridges. Like, I do like bridges, but I, you know, like I'm, I use them sparingly. However, with this setup now, I think what we'll do is quickly bring in. Allow us to make a loop through the come out here, turn right, start the Actually, we'll just create, we'll just create a, um, a link from happy anniversary, Nata. Just create an express link. Get some people moving in. Yeah, Dolly was on stream about ten past eight, I think. Cheap seats. Hey, I didn't name it, Zarek. I didn't name it. Don't blame me. I've only got a bit of a demand, but we'll try. What have they got for like? See, they've got a school here, I think. It's not quite having a Oh, yeah, you need elementary. It's the one up that you don't want. Actually, I think you even need a high school, don't you? Or remember. You need elementary and high school, and then after that, they go to work, I think. Welcome back. Put the school opposite the park.
health car. Eh, it's a bit of a walk. Police cover. Yeah, they're not exactly in a rush to move in. Actually, what we can probably do is give them an incentive. Um, tax relief for low density residential. Tax relief for high density residential. Let go of leisure. Nope. That should do it. Encourage biking. Do we need to encourage biking? A VIP area. Blimey. Electric cars. <laughs> True Blue Aussie. Four years, dude. Four years. Shout out to the mods past and present. The entire Nuthouse community and to you, Paul, for making this journey a memorable one. Bring on the next four. Dude. Happy anniversary. Thank you for four years, True Blue. There's a few of you guys and more that are still awake. Man, it's probably like Saturday morning for you now, isn't it? Commerce, commerce, commerce. Yeah. People are starting to move in. The Cooper residents have moved into cheap seats. It's literally called cheap seats because of the tax break now. They are cheap seats. 